Ready for a dark and fun multi-chrome makeup tutorial? You can regard it as your anti-Valentine's makeup or just on any day when you're feeling a little bit spooky. And the first thing you do is take a black eye pencil of your choice and apply it all over your moving lid, just up to the cut crease and fill it in with black. Now, this doesn't have to be perfect. It can be slightly patchy, but just make sure you have no big areas left out. Also apply a tiny bit on the lower lid and then go for multi-chrome eyeshadow, which is purple when you look at it directly and shifts to emerald green. Apply it all over the lid, not just on the black base, but also beyond it. Go upwards and go sideways. This way it will create a blend because the eyeshadow will obviously be lighter where there's no base and will be darker where the black base is. And also try to extend it towards your temples because multichromes show up very well at different angles and that's the effect that you will achieve with the shape. Already multichrome and now let's go for a green eyeshadow that shifts to purple so it goes in the opposite way. Obviously if you don't have a lot of multichromes you can just use the single color and it will still look fun because the shift but we're not done yet. Apply black mascara. If this is looking fun so far, please tap the like button and then go for your face makeup. I went for a glowy primer and a matte powder foundation, but whatever floats your boat, whatever you prefer. Sketch out with a white eyeliner or white liquid lipstick the places where you will put the freckles and then put a lash glue on top. The reason we're using white underneath is because when the lash glue dries down, it is invisible. And this way we will see where to put on the rhinestones. Use a wax pencil to stick them. And I'm using a set of also duochrome purple to green ones, but obviously you can use all green, all purple, a mix of the two, or even like black hollow ones would look absolutely stunning in this case. Now this makeup is already super fun, but what we're going to do is of course apply some lipstick and you will see a tone of wearable, meaning you can actually maintain them throughout the day. Lip art and lip makeup ideas on my Patreon, the Mirror Beauty. Go subscribe now. It is linked in my description box. You will love it. After you apply the black lipstick, apply the same multi-chrome eyeshadows that we have used. One on the upper lip, one in the lower lip so that when you turn your head they shift in opposite directions how fun is that both for the eyes and for the lips if you want to see more dark makeup ideas just tap on the playlist that popped up 